everyone. Uh, my name's Abby. Um, I have been watching so many videos on the designer and beauty environment on YouTube that I just thought, you know, I wanted to get in on the act and um, start my own channel. So um, for my first video, I'm going to do my hair. Um, just a little hair tutorial because, um, as you can tell, my hair is kind of messy. A little bit of a... Well, basically, the hairdresser convinced me to get bangs, uh, like big bangs, last time I went. So I have these, and they're kind of growing out. So there's just, um, there's all this hair. I just, I've been really struggling with it. Anyways, so I'm going to show you what I do with my bangs to kind of let them grow out. And yeah, this is just kind of what I do every day. Um, so this is clean, blow-dried hair. Um, just like a real quick blow dry, um, like I just flip my hair, like flip my head upside down and then just um, do a blow dry, kind of just doing just a real quick kind of messy blow dry. It's nothing interesting. This is why I just wanted to start from dry hair. Anyway, so this is, I use a natural bristle brush. Um, unfortunately, it's, um, it's Chinese, like I... It has a brand, but I don't know what it is. Um, I lost the box, and I have no idea what that means. So, anyways, it's natural bristle brush. Um, so it's really kind on your hair. I have very fine blonde hair. Um, this is actually my natural color. I have sort of uh, Nordic um, ancestors, I think, and that's kind of where I get the the blonde hair from, which is quite lucky because I don't need to like bleach it all the time. Um, so anyways, I do have to treat it with care because it's so fine, it breaks really easily. So I'm just going to brush it. I usually do um, from the tip to the top because um, you don't want to pull any of the hair and break it. Um, I have sort of mid-length hair. I'm, I'm kind of trying to grow it like down here. Um, but obviously it's kind of hard because it always breaks. So I do try and treat it quite nicely and give it masks and stuff um, but the natural bristle brush is great it does um, does the job okay so that's just um, just like a quick brush so it's already and now um, I'm gonna straighten my hair I sometimes just leave it natural um, but today I'm going to straighten it. And I've got GHD straighteners, the small barrel ones. Um, really simple and easy. And they just, they always work. And I think it's got like a special coating to kind of protect your hair as much as possible, which is nice. Um, but yeah, when I'm looking for kind of a polished look that's not so natural and just more sleek, um, I will straighten my hair. And so I use like a little uh, detangler and it um, also protects the hair from kind of heat damage. Um, yeah, so just a little spray and just on the surface. Okay. I think I got this from uh, Whole Foods. I buy some of my hair stuff from Whole Foods because it's sort of natural and smells really nice. Um, this is like a chamomile one. There you go. I th it's got like... I mean, you know Whole Foods has got all those fancy uh, stuff. So it's this is the leave-in spray with magnolia. Uh, it's a, it gives like a brilliant shine, protection and detangling. Um, and yeah, it's got some French on it, so it's, it's quite a nice product. Um, right, so instead of, because my hair is so thin, like, look, I mean, literally, this right here is, is my hair. It's not, there's not very much of it. It's very fine. I don't really need to section it off because it's not super thick. So what I just do, um, I kind of just start from the front like this, so. Okay. 
And I get these little curls up here, so I have to make sure to get them. Yeah, so I just do that a couple times. Um, and with the bangs, I'm going to straighten them as well. Uh, later on, I'm going to pin them up. So it's not, I mean, they're not going to be like a feature. Um, I kind of, I mean, I'm not going to get bangs cut ever again because they're just too much of a hassle. Anyway, so they're, um, they're just going to be straight so they like match the rest of my hair. So yeah, I'm just going to go around and keep straightening. Yeah, and if I find like a little bit of tangly hair, I'll go back again with the natural bristle brush because it's so del like it's such a natural brush that like you do have to go over a couple of times because sometimes it does miss out some of the knots. Um, oops. Okay. I mean, obviously, like, avoid going over it um, too much because you don't want to damage your hair. Um, but, like, like a, a, a couple of times is fine, I think. My hair is naturally kind of kinky and wavy, so I do try and just... This is nice to smooth it out and look nice and groomed and then you get these little curly bits on the side of my face um I just kind of swoosh those out um, yeah. yeah this guy's really stubborn today look at him oh it's these bangs always think twice before getting bangs because if you're not ready for them they can rule your life and then you have to deal with these little bits of hair either side of your forehead for a long time before they grow out. So just be careful. I mean, they look great for a day, but then they grow out. I mean, it's, um, anyways, I'm not going to have a rant about my bangs, so... Right, so just have a few under bits to get straightened here. Okay, let's double check. I didn't. Oh, this guy looks a bit curvy. Yes, we found a curvy one. I mean, uh, if you guys have thicker hair, maybe I would advise sectioning it off and doing it in smaller pieces of hair. Because, um, I mean, this is, my hair is so fine that it can, it reacts quite quickly to the heat. 
Um, so, I mean, I'm quite lucky. It doesn't take me that long to kind of straighten my hair. Um, all right, so that's the kind of initial straightening. Oh, these guys are so stubborn. Yeah, sometimes you just get these little baby hairs. Um, they do sometimes brush out like that, which is quite good. So yeah, um, just brush it once more to make sure I didn't miss anything. Maybe if, I mean, this is quite like almost a wavy straight. Cause I mean, some girls like have those like poker straight um, hair. And if you want it a little bit straighter, you can kind of go back, just do like one last touch to kind of even it out. Yeah, so I've kind of long layers right now. Um, yeah, so, and what I do is for like a little polish afterwards um, to make sure it's nice and shiny and there's no kind of flyaways um, happening. I use a Paul Mitchell smoothing. Um, it's a little, they call them gloss drops. So it's, it's, yeah, it's just like a nice little polish and you don't need very much at all because it's kind of oily. So yeah, just like the tiniest little, oh wait, this is closed, hold on. The tiniest little thing like that, just like super, super tiny, you can see, yeah, it's so tiny, and just kind of rub it in your hands, and you can already feel it's kind of oily already, so you really don't need it very much, I mean, I've had this for like quite a long time now, and um, yeah, just a little, just touch a little bit of the where your flyaways could be, just like a little bit, but you don't want to put too much up here, because then it will um, make your roots quite oily, so just run your hands through your hair like that just to get it nice and sheen so that way if you have like dry ends or split ends and don't have the time to do a mask you can use this i usually use um like maybe once or twice a month an olive oil and almond oil mix uh, mask um i get my olive oil um from like the supermarket and the almond oil I will get from Whole Foods. They've got some nice um, stuff in their sort of beauty section. Um, yeah, it's just quite nice. Okay, yeah, so that's straight hair. Now I'm gonna um, brush that through again just to even out the product that's in there. Okay, and now I'm going to use a little bobby pin to pin up my bangs. Now, I usually do like a little um, quiff, like a little um, bumpy thing. I don't know what the technical terminology is for that. So, So I just like give it a nice little twist at the back here and clip it, just slide it through like that and a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of poof and there you have a just kind of casual, kind of polished you know, not too sleek, not too, um, you know, I'm going to a ball hair, but just kind of like, you know, if I was going out with my girlfriends, I would wear my hair like this. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about any products or where I get my hair cut or any of that kind of stuff, just um, put it in the box and I will reply to you. And I hope you enjoyed watching my hair tutorial. Thank you. Bye.